Hello, welcome to the AnyControl installation tutorial. The steps to install the AnyControl app are simple and short, taking between 2 to 3 minutes. However, to prevent possible mistakes and make the process easier for beginners, this video will guide you through all the installation steps with detailed explanations and the activation process for all types of phones. AnyControl is a parental monitoring system that allows parents to remotely monitor their children under 18 in the digital space without needing physical access to their phones. The way it works is that the AnyControl parental control software is installed and hidden on the child's Android phone or tablet, and once activated, reports are sent to the parent's monitoring panel. To download and install AnyControl, you must first create an account on the website anycontrol.app. This account is specifically for parents. Reports of the child's phone activities will be sent to this user panel. Therefore, dear parents, you must create this account on your own phone or computer. After creating the account, the next step is to obtain a license to activate the software. You can get the license in two ways, a free 24-hour trial or a monthly subscription. If you want to test the app before purchasing, you can refer to the guide on obtaining a free 24-hour trial license on Instagram or YouTube, or search Google for how to get a free AnyControl license. However, if you have already used AnyControl before or have heard about its performance quality from others and want to purchase a monthly or yearly subscription, you can go to the license section in the right-hand menu of the parents panel and proceed with the online purchase. After obtaining the license, you need to download the AnyControl app and install it on your child's phone. To do this, go to the Download AnyControl section in the side menu of the control panel. On this page, you will see a QR code and a website address for downloading the app. Keep this page open and follow the next steps on your child's phone. First on your child's phone, go to the Google Play Store. In the top corner, select the profile icon of the Google account, and in the menu that appears, choose Play Protect. On the next page, select the gear icon and disable all related switches, turning off automatic app scanning. Additionally, if there are any secondary apps such as antivirus or security apps, e.g. Device Care or Xiaomi Security, disable them as well. Then, return to the child's phone home screen. To download and install the AnyControl app on the child's phone, you can proceed in two ways. Method 1. Scan the QR code shown in the parental control panel using the child's camera. Method 2. Enter the download link in the child's device browser. Both methods will direct you to the app download page. If you encounter a warning about the risk of entering the page, ignore it and proceed. On the page that opens, select your preferred language. At this stage, you will see a message asking you to confirm that you are not a robot. Check the box to proceed. At the top of the page, you will see notes about pre-download and installation steps, which we have already completed in previous steps. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and press the Download Any Control button to start the download. If you see a message about enabling Google Play Protect scanning during the download, reject it. Wait for the download to complete. After downloading, go to the device's file manager and navigate to the Downloads folder. First, locate the installer.apk file and run it. At this stage, if you haven't previously granted permission to install apps from unknown sources, you will see a message requesting this permission. Tap Settings and grant the permission to the file manager as shown in the image so the installation file can run. In the window that appears, select Install. After installation, open the app and on the first launch, grant all requested permissions. If, for any reason, you were unable to grant these permissions or accidentally close the app, you can go to the app list, search for the app named Settings and open it again so the app can request the necessary permissions once more. After launching the app for the first time, you will be prompted to enter the license. Enter the license you previously obtained and press the Activate button. Note: 
Press the license activation button only once and wait for one minute for the activation process to complete. However, if you encounter an error for any reason, check the validity of the entered license and your internet connection, then try pressing the activation button again. If you do not see this screen and are directly taken to the activation page, it means the app has already been activated on your device and you can proceed with the installation steps. However, if you want to use a new license on the device while the device is connected to the internet, you must reset the previous device ID. Show the license box and reset button on the page. Keep in mind that each license can only be activated once and on one device. If you want to activate the app on another device, as explained earlier, you must obtain a new license. To deactivate the previous license and install it on a new device, you can first uninstall the app from the current device, reset the license via the user panel, and then proceed with installation and activation on the new device. Now, let's return to the installation steps. License activation will first show you the terms of use and ask for your agreement. Select, I agree, to proceed to the next step. In the next step, you will again be asked to ensure that Google Play Protect is disabled. If needed, you can recheck this section by pressing the Setup button. If you see a Turn On button and a red icon, it means this section is already disabled. Without making any changes, press the Back button to return to the installation steps. Press the Next button to proceed to the next step. In this step, you need to disable the battery optimizer for any control. When the message appears, tap Setup then select Ignore in the opened window. After that, press Next to continue. Grant the necessary permissions for the app to collect information. Tap the green button next to each section to proceed. On devices running Android versions below 13, tapping the green button will redirect you to the relevant settings page. Once there, select the Settings app and turn on the corresponding switch. For devices running Android 13 or higher, the initial activation step is slightly different. During the first step, Accessibility Activation, a step-by-step -step guide will be displayed. Note, the guide may vary depending on your phone model, but you can enable this section in a similar way. Select the first option and tap the displayed blue link. On the open page, Choose the Settings app and turn on the corresponding switch. If your device, like the one shown in the image, displays a message stating that access is limited, press the Back button to return to the Guide page. At this point, select the second option, Enable Unrestricted Access, and in the drop-down menu, tap the provided text labeled Tap Here. In the open page, select Settings, tap the three-dot menu in the top corner, and choose Grant Unrestricted Access. Now press the back button to return to the installation guide and once again select Enable Accessibility. Tap the specified text to be redirected to the relevant page. This time, the Settings option will be active. Tap it, toggle the switch on, and confirm activation as shown in the image. Press the back button to continue the installation process. At this stage, grant the necessary permissions for data collection. Tap the green button for each section and in the opened page, locate and select Settings. Toggle the switch on and press the back button to return to the activation screen. Repeat this process for all sections as shown in the image. Finally, at the bottom of the page, select Next. In this step, grant screenshot access to the app by tapping Settings and selecting Allow in the opened window. Note, on Android 14 and above, Set this access to full screen. In the next section, enable app installation from unknown sources to allow automatic updates following the provided image guide. Press Next to proceed. In the final step, designate the app as a device administrator following the guide. If needed, disable service notifications entirely as shown in the tutorial video. Press Next step to proceed to the installation conditions evaluation stage. If you have followed the tutorial steps correctly, you should now see two green checked boxes and two empty checked boxes. Tap each option and confirm completion by selecting the green button until all four options have green check marks. However, if you see a red mark, 
go back to the previous steps and recheck the activation process as per the guide. Then, select the Next button. Congratulations! The app has been successfully installed and activated. If the device's location service is off, it is better to turn it on for better location reporting. Now, return to the Downloads folder in the File Manager and delete the installation file. Also, go to the browser and select Clear Browsing Data to delete the history of visited links in the last 24 hours. You can now press the Home button to return to the phone's home screen and remotely manage your child's phone through the parental control panel. After installation, when you run the app icon, you will no longer be directed to the app environment, but instead to the device settings. However, it is best to move this icon to a folder to keep it out of your child's reach. Note, when accessing the Parental Control Panel dashboard, the Access and Google Play Protect options should be green. The device model and Android version should be registered, and the number of active app permissions should be displayed. This number should not be less than 7. Otherwise, some reports may not be correctly displayed in the user panel. To adjust report times according to your local time, you can go to your account profile and change it to your local time to synchronize report times with your location. System Performance Test Now, to test the program's performance, we will conduct several experimental activities using the child's mobile phone. First, we make a short phone call. Then, we send a test SMS to the same number. To examine the program's functionality in messaging apps, we initiate a simple conversation on WhatsApp and Telegram, along with a voice call. Finally, to assess the device's management sections, we visit a website. Over time and after the update is completed, as you can see, all activities performed on the child's device are reported to the parental control panel at intervals of 5 to 10 minutes. If you have followed the installation guide correctly, reports from other sections of the program will also be recorded. To uninstall or review the installation steps again, you can dial Star License Square on the child's device to re-enter the app interface. Using the Uninstall button, you can remove the app and by selecting Reactivate, you can review the activation steps again. To learn more about the features and how to use the Any Control Panel, you can watch the Any Control Panel introduction video. Thank you for staying with us until the end of this video.